everyone so in this video we're going to take a look at taking the blended animation that we created or any animation that you create in motion builder for that matter and bringing it into the game engine uh, specifically unity in this example now um, this is a little bit of a review um, for you guys because I figure at this point you should know how to bring animation uh, into Unity uh, but you'd be surprised at how many times in the motion capture class I get students saying I don't know how to bring my motion capture <laughs> into Unity so um, I figure it's uh, good to have a video that covers that just in case you need a refresher on being able to utilize your motion capture animations. So uh, we've got our animation from the last video, which is the Maya, uh, Mia, I mean, the Mia doing her hop blended into the climb animation. And she goes through, hops twice, and then climbs the ladder. All right, cool. So um, I've already got this saved out, and as you know, um, the uh, native file format for um, Motion Builder is FBX, which is really, really handy. So uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to import this into Unity, and I've created a Unity project for us to work with. Uh, it doesn't really have anything in it, it just has a you know the standard sample scene and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to import that animation so I'm going to right click and go to import new asset and I'm going to go into my folder here that I have for this week and I've got the uh, Mia blend animation here so I'm going to select import and I'm going to let her import into my project and there she is so I'm just going to drag and drop the animation into the hierarchy and here it is inside the hierarchy and she's got no materials. This is a common problem um, with FBX files these days and it's because um, Unity has changed the way it imports um, materials for FBX files and one of the things that um, depending on which version of FBX you saved it as or exported it from, um, you might have to change how the materials get assigned. So right now we're using embedded materials and you're like, well, I'm using embedded materials, why aren't they showing up? And it's probably because Unity is looking for a newer version of the FBX exporter. Uh, so the you know, even though this is a newer version of Motion Builder, it might not be saving in that format. So what you might have to do is change this by selecting the asset inside of the project and going to location and then use external materials legacy. Okay, so you go to the legacy version. And um, typically you're going to search by recursive up and by base, um, by base texture name and hit apply. I'll let it do its thing. and it should bring the materials onto your model in the scene. All right, so next thing, uh, if I hit play, she don't play any animation. And the reason for that is, there's a few reasons. One, her rig's set to generic. Uh, two, if we select her, she has no animation controller, even though the animation is right here. Okay, so if I drag this up and hit the play button, there's her animation playing that we created in Motion Builder in the previous videos. All right, so to get the animation going, what we need to do is create an animation controller. So um, I'm gonna click on Assets, Create, and then um, Animation Controller, and I'm gonna call this Mia. And um, now that Mia is uh, created, I'll select the asset inside of the hierarchy and then drag and drop the controller into the controller parameter of the animator component. Um, you need to have your animator window on. So if I select Mia and open up the animator window, if you don't have the animator window, go up to Window, Animation, Animator, previous versions of Unity, I'm pretty sure it's just sitting out here. And uh, what we should be able to do from here now is drag and drop take 001, oh, not in there, into the animation controller. So upon entry, it'll start playing take 001. 
And if you want to rename this animation, um, you can rename it from here, or you could also do it from the asset here, or even in the animation panel here. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of different places where you can rename the animation if you want to name it something else. All right, so uh, I have the animation applied. Uh, it should run. Uh, it's just a couple of things I want to talk about real quick. Um, if I select the animation here, uh, we have it set to play. Um, yeah, so I think we're good to go. So if I hit play, I'm going to go to my scene view. Should see Mia doing the entire animation that we created. Oh, didn't notice her head doing that weird jerkiness. So that's something that I would possibly go back and fix after the fact. And then she plays through to her blended animation, which is this climb animation. Cool. So that's how to get your animation to work um, in a nutshell. Um, from there, I mean, it's all programming and uh, setting up your character controller in Mechanim after that, so that it um, you know performs the way you want it to perform inside of your scene. Insane. That should be it. So, if we want to edit the animation further from that, from here, um, inside of Unity. Uh, you would have to do it from the animation panel of the asset. So if you select the asset here, go to animation, and you want to make it loop, you can do it from here because if you just try to select the animation from here, it's going to be all grayed out. So in the asset here, uh, if I go to animation and then check off loop time um, and then apply, let it do its thing. If I hit play, now the animation should loop by default. At least the loop time is checked off now. Now she goes into her ladder animation. And I'm just going to play this through to the end of her ladder animation just to show that it should loop now. Climbs up this last ladder. <laughs> and, and then it loops. Great. So shows you a little bit of control. Uh, for your animation inside of Unity, we'll be taking more of a look at utilizing your motion capture animations inside of Unity as well, um, and also in Real. And uh, that's pretty much it for this week.